Sana all doc. Ang alin? Ang main love? <laughs> yes, Sana all din na magkaroon ako ng love life. <laughs> anyway, good afternoon. I want to, ano, so make sure this is now the package for essential health package in the public health services of the Philippines. And uh, hopefully matapos natin before the February 6 final exam, we can finish the, the different uh, pub, uh, diseases of public health importance and other programs. So we can move on to communication where you can prepare your, um, your, your health promotion activity. So in your health promotion, you can include COVID, of course. Kung sa'yo mauna sa COVID, mas maganda. Sabihin nyo na term, ano, okay? So, uh, there are so many challenges and issues right now. No, uh, For example, although we have regulatory like field, we have Department of Health, uh, napakaano ng ating democracy in terms of uh, uh, health, health service delivery. So, kahit pa sa mga uh, panahon ng ganito, no, na nandun ni tayo sa 2021, still, still sa 2021, still meron pa rin mga albularyo, marami pa rin kami na, na mga nakukuha ng mga pasyente na uh, nanganganak pa rin sa bahay, na alam naman nilang ano, or we still have patients na uh, uh, nakikita ng mga mamis na alam naman nila na manganganak na sila, kung kailan sila pupunta, dun na yung kung time na manganganak, di ba? Di ba pag naglilabor, alam mo naman yun. So these are things that, ano, and meron pa rin na naniniwala sa mga dahon-dahon and all these things. Although meron namang role ito na mga dahon-dahon. Okay? But of course, it has to be uh, it has to be what you call that uh, approved by the uh, PITAC and Department of Health. Anyway, so the challenge is the mixed health outcomes, the disjoint health system. Pag sinabi natin disjoint health system, problema din to, di ba? From the later, uh, na-discuss na natin ito more or less sa mga reports nyo and other things na even in a in a what is happening right now in America, no? Ang kanilang disjoints are the <laughs> ano bang nadi-disjoint sa kanila yung kanilang president and ano. I don't know why they are so angry with Trump, no? So the disjoint health system, uh, kahit pa sabihin mo because of the what they call this uh, devolution of services, iba dami na ngayon nagsabi, oh, we will uh, allocate 300 million for the vaccine. Para niya kay 1 billion, Quezon City 700 million, no? And then naglabas yung Department of Health na hindi pwedeng bibigyan to approve FDA approved vaccine vaccines for COVID-19 in the emergency utilization in an event but with a priority priority population. Huh? There are only five priority population for the first, hopefully next month, mag-start. I don't know kung Sinovac, Sinovac or Pfizer or AstraZeneca or kung ano-ano lang. No? And then of course, yung high out-of-pocket expenditure. Kahit na uh, marami kami, no, yung mga nagpa-positive, they still wanted to be under our um, LGU Kasi, uh, or EDRMC, meron kami isang pasyente na rich per sa ICU, 400,000. Ang binayad lang niya sa EDRMC, 80,000. You see the the difference on that? Okay. Sabi niya, Dok, hindi ako mamamatay sa COVID. Mamamatay ako sa laran ko sa COVID. Ah, if, if, you, if your video is kita ko kayo. Okay? So, since the time immemorial, since the time I enter uh, the government service, since uh, this is my 18th year, 18th year in the government service, we always wanted better health outcomes. Anong sinabi natin na better health outcomes? Makikita natin yan later. A more responsive health, uh, balitad, more responsive health system na Pakiramdam mo, pag nandun ka sa St. Luke's, ganun din ang pakiramdam ka sa Tacloban City Hospital or sa EVRMC. Wow naman, di ba? 
and a more equitable healthcare financing. So yung tatlong ito will be up to the time that you will take the board exam. This is the goal of the uh, the Philippine health system. We want to see uh, not only in uh, diseases. Uh, that of public health importance, but also the non-communicable diseases, which I will explain later. So, our package is Formula One Plus for Health. Four in financing, service delivery, delivery, regulatory, and governance. This is very important slide, although isang ano lang siya. But this Formula One, hindi pala only, Formula One no? Plus for Health is under dyan, dapat financing, service delivery, regulatory governance. Under dyan is the performance accountability of all the uh, strategic goals na yan. Financing, service delivery, regulatory, and governance. So, ibig sabihin, there is a performance accountability in each of the, uh, in each of these uh, strategies. Pero, our goal right now in this session is on the service delivery. Okay. So, when we say better health outcomes, no, sa ngayon, uh, uh, may pirma ko ng death certificate. Although meron umaabot ng 93, may umaabot na ano, uh, based on the, ano, we want to increase the average life expectancy from 70 to 72. Meron, meron ngayon na 29, ba? ang taas na ng blood pressure, mataas na yung uric acid, mataas na masyado yung, ano, in terms of, ano, yun yung nakakamatay, Hindi lamang yung non-communicable and later ito na mga road traffic injuries and even suicide. Okay? The next important indicator number two is the maternal mortality ratio. 114 for every 100,000 live births. Sa pinapanganak, imove mo siya. For every 10,000 na ipinapanganak sa isang taon, 100, uh, 11 doon ay namamatay dahil sa panganak. Top one na... So, for the infant mortality rate, which, which I have mentioned, very sensitive indicator, from 23 to 15. Tignan nyo yung mga target. We want the, the kailangan 50. I'm sure because Tacloban is the center ng mga hospital, ang taas ng ating infant mortality rate lately. Okay? Why? Why do you think so? Uh, I think uh, merong gustong mag magsagot. Bakit kaya dumami yung mga namamatay sa Tacloban? But uh, the in the hospitals, why? Because most of the any, uh, any... Because most of the referring hospitals are here in Tacloban po, Doc. Yes, that's one. Another reason. What else? Aside from that referring facility, you know what? With COVID-19, what they did, kung kailan na lang, masamang-masama na yung pakiramdam doon na pupunta sa, ano, kaya, we, I received a lot, I, I signed a lot of death certificate na death on arrival. Sa sobrang takot sa COVID, natakot sa COVID, hindi natakot sa alta pressure, sa asthma, sa ano, kasi takot mag-COVID. That's why you as an advocate, I want to see a better health outcomes because of the health promotion. No? Thank you, Dr. Santos. Next is the premature mortality attributed to uh, Cereb uh, cardiovascular diseases, cancer, diabetes, and chronic respiratory diseases. So in our, uh, here, yun yung ating apat na titinan. Uh, uh, kaya ito yung iisipin nyo ng mga diseases na gusto nyo i-present sa nyo yung communication. Kasi ito yung mga uh, important. Uh, cardiovascular diseases, cancer, diabetes, and chronic respiratory diseases. Sa dami-dami ngayon, nagkakaroon na ng ano, shift, no? Na hindi ka dapat mamatay Bigla ka na lang namamatay kasi ano, ah, siguro lahat ngayon puro pupanda na. No? Wala nang ma mga batang hindi na kumakain ng gulay. So sa mga first year medicine, marami hindi kumakain ng gulay. No? Ha? Hindi kumakain ng gulay. Tapos dito rin sa Tacloban, makukurigihap ang, ang, ano, ang, ang gulay.
Hello. 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 Who's this? Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Bakit iba na naman number mo? Ako man to. Ah, uh, Dr. Tong. Yung, ah, uh, part ko ng number to. Okay, sige. Ang so, may tanong lang ako. Ah, uh, is this just Okay. So, uh, asan ako? TB incidence from 434 to 427. Incidence of stunting among under 5 children. Which one is the quick malnutrition? Stunting? Or ano? No, stunting is more of what? Wasting or stunting? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, Doc. Okay. So, do wasting or stunting, which one is the chronic and which one is the acute malnutrition? Wasting chronic. Sini sumagot. Okay. So, uh, stunting is, uh, wasting is uh, acute malnutrition. Stunting is chronic malnutrition. So, we are looking into the prevalence of stunting among under 5 children in malnutrition because ito yung, yung mga putot ba? Ito kasi yung mayroong uh, challenge sa uh, not only on the height but especially on the uh, in, uh, intelligence and uh, absorbency sa, sa, no, karamihan ng mga dropouts, mga, hindi naman mga putot na dahil genetic ha. Because of stunting. Okay. So, for uh, strategic goal number two of responsive health system, uh, we want to ensure that a client is satisfied with every services that we offer and at the same time provide their responsiveness score. Na parang, pakiramdam nyo ba 
yung mga mga nasa rural health unit ng inyong mga ng inyong mga lugar sa inyong mga city or munisipyo, parang pagod na pagod na sila. Parang ano lang, uh, anong tawag diyan? Pag sinabing gobyerno, parang for for ano lang, for diyan, for compliance. Do you feel that or do you Any anybody can ask, do you see that thing na parang nako uh, nakikita nyo ba yon hello yes hello? no hello yeah uh -oh. yeah may klase ako tawagan oh, kita okay, later Bye. okay so Nakikita nyo ba yun sa mga, sa mga go, if not health facilities, sa mga government facilities that parang people are, uh, I mean, service provider are not responsive. Diba? Palaging makakareceive ka na lang sa 888 na nag-apply na ganito, pinahintay na ganitong katagal na oras, something like that. Do you agree? Yes, no. Kakalungkot, diba? Na, oh. Pero meron namang ano, improvement, may mga online na, mabilis na. Pero yung providers responsive dapat halimbawa, kaya meron kaming tinatawag na anong tawag diyan yung sit, uh, charter, citizens charter. Nagsusulat kami diyan sa mga ano namin na pagkuha, pag apply mo na health certificate hanggang makuha mo dapat ilang minuto, ilang oras, mga ganun ko nang something like that. This is the a uh, service provider. Okay. For the equitable health financing, uh, that is strategic goal number three. We this is the problem, ano, sa mga mahihirap. Kahit na sabi mong libre, mataas pa rin yung out of pocket health spending as a percentage of total health expen expenditure. Parang ito yung isang challenge din sa Pilipinas, especially in the development of universal healthcare and we want to see the percent of population who have spent the 10 percent the most on health. Kailangan may increase sana yan. Sa sana lahat tayo actually habang malakas hindi naman talaga tayo nagpa-prioritize ng health. Okay. okay, let's go now to service delivery which is the focus. So, pag sinabi nating service delivery, may meron siyang iba't ibang components, no? We want to have a wider access on when do you say essential is there has to be a provision of essential health service package for so from a uh, one thousand days hanggang sa adolescent hanggang maging nanay naging mother naging adult hanggang senior so it's a life cycle. Number eight, prevention for communicable and non communicable medicines, affordability of essential drugs, and availability of service delivery points. Which my, meron to, I will explain later. No? So, the first in the essential health service package is family health. Under the family health is maternal health. Under that, nandun yung ating Responsible Parenthood and Reproductive Health Care Act of 2012. So, tinitignan, hindi na nga yung tinitignan yung sa contraceptive prevalence rate. Tinit Kung ilan ang magkakaroon ng access sa mga contraceptions, no? And tinitignan din natin yung family planning. Katulad ng ito nagkaroon ng uh, uh, COVID, no? Marami ang nabuntis. Kasi marami naka, ano, <laughs> naka-quarantine tsaka naka-isolate. So, tumaas yung birth rate. Okay? So, ngayon, hindi namin, hindi rin makapag-distribute kasi wala namang, wala namang, uh, what they call it, wala namang uh, services other than the COVID services. So, kaya ginawa namin, dating ng, ng August or September, after the surge, nagka, binalik namin yung mga, mga services, no? And then, of course, yung Health facility delivery na dapat walang nang and skilled birth attendants. Dapat walang nagpapaanak na hilot. Okay? 
and antenatal care. So, pag sa, dating sa exam, you're going to answer that in the, in Uh, the traditional birth attendance is included as a skilled, skilled birth. Kahit pa may training ito ng mga, mga hilot, oh, they are part of the health system. Okay. My question so far, after the maternal care is the neonatal and infant health. Under here, here is the immunization. You know, the benefit of immunization is we want to uh, ensure that there is no risk of outbreaks and re-emergence of fatal infectious diseases. Okay? So especially sepsis of the newborn, pa ilang ilan, uh, may mga sepsis of the new. Yes, <laughs> malakas yun. Okay. And then after the, uh, when do we say, how do you define uh, a neonate? Mga nurse, how do you define neonate, mga nurses? Nurses, so neonate? Yes, doc. And definition of an infant? Yes. Neonate is the first 28 days of life po, doc. Come on. Yung, neonate is the first 28 days of life. And infant is the first 12 months of life. And infant? Uh, first... Iba naman, infant. Iba naman, Dr. Santos. Paano mo matatawag na infant? Hello? Beyond 20. Please, Dr. So, dapat ano ito, nandito na. So, kailang infant yon Ano? Two years? Or 23 months? Up to two years. Or, or 12 months. Ano? Lalabas siya sa exam, ha? Okay. So, uh, in the child health, which is of course kasama dyan yung neonatal and infant pa rin sa child, pero dinidistinguish lang natin yung neonatal and infant health, no? So, 12 to 23 months, we are focusing on who were fully immunized, which are the basic vaccinations. Hindi pa kasama dito yung HPV, no? Ah, no, not HPV. Ah, BC, no? Kasama lang dapat yung a dose of BCG, measles, three doses of DPT, polio, and HEPA B during the first year of life. Okay? And then for the under five, uh, mort under five uh, mortality rate, Tinitignan natin yung stunting, which is chronic malnutrition, oral health, and then prevalence of diarrhea. Adolescent, of course, is the NMC. For adult health is the uh, non-communicable diseases. NCD stands for non-communicable diseases and elderly health. So, from maternal hanggang elderly. Okay, the next essential health service package is environmental and occupational health, EOH. Ano yung under dyan? Safe water and sanitation, air quality, and occupational health. Okay. Ang sinabi na, ito yung mga tube wells, dug wells, spring, and uh, rain water. And then pag level 2, excuse me. Public tap, level 4, uh, level 3, sorry, not level 4. Level 3 is packed into dwelling water systems. Okay? And of course, for the sanitation, we hope to have a, ano to, zero, ZOD is zero open defecation. Dapat wala na, pero sa ano marami pa din. Yeah, okay, bye. Kiss mama first. Letter B is air quality. Under the EOH is air quality. Uh, so, you should read on Clear Air Act of 1991 and then improvement with the reduction of the total suspended particulate. Kaya kasama natin dito yung ano, uh, even yung sa mga vehicle, kaya meron na ano. Kasi na, nakita na talaga nila na ang laking factor nito in terms of uh, chronic respiratory diseases. And of course, occupational health. 
dati walang occupational health right? in all government uh, all agencies are required to have their own uh, um uh ano to uh, uh clinic okay next is prevention control of communities it's tuberculosis the burden of tb remained high in 2016 with 1 million have active tb case 26 that's Sa PB kesa sa COVID. Third is dengue and pneumonia is a public health threat. Even for uh, acquired sa for children. Pediatric community acquired pneumonia. Okay. So, by next, ano, iisa-isahin natin yan, mga yan. So, after prevention and control of communicable four major, ano ha, TB, HIV, AIDS, dengue, and pneumonia, pasok naman tayo dun sa elimination of endemic diseases as public health threats. Is summer still has malaria? No? Is has filaria, cystosomiasis, leprosy, and rabies. So, all of these, filaria and cystosomiasis, we do the uh, happen lang we have uh, 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 I forgot the barangay Hansen's disease admitted at St. Paul's okay and of course rabies so rabies is an with the rabies is all throughout the, an endemic disease okay uh, next is uh, prevention and control of emerging and re-emerging infectious diseases. Sama dito, the factors are tourism, kaya nga bakit may mga travel restrictions, merong mga um, ano to, uh, sinasara yung mga uh, rap, ano to, uh, quarantine control point because of this, because of uh, emerging and re-emerging infectious diseases, rapid urbanization, climate change, and weak surveillance systems. And of course, nandiyan yung COVID-19, MERS-CoV, Ebola, and Zika virus. So the MERS-CoV and even SARS, kasama dyan ang SARS, COVID-19, are all coronaviruses. And of course, Ebola and Zika. Any questions so far? Okay. So next is... Prevention and control of non-communicable diseases. So, lifestyle-related non-communicable diseases, ang tawag na dyan is LRNCD, no? Are diseases with common risk factors largely associated to unhealthy lifestyle such as four yan palagi. Unhealthy diet because some fat, sugar, salt, and... Pag-dyan ang ano... Hilig sa fat, sugar, salt, and cholesterol diet. Especially yung mga hidden salt. Kami daming salt na nakalagay sa mga, lalo na exam week na next week, uh, February, sa mga first year, ang dami sa inyo dyan nagkakain ng ano. Favorite ko yung ano. Ano bang favorite ko? Yung, hulaan yung favorite ko na chichirya. Manghuan. Gatos. Daming Chippy. salt. Ha? Latos. Ding dong. Wishy. <laughs> Kiss curse, ma'am. <laughs> Crackling. Hindi. Hindi. Yung parang corn. Ano ba yan? Favorite. Tortilios. Corny. Corny. Ano, taga... Tortilios. Boy, boy, bak. <laughs> boy, bak. <laughs> boy, bak. Boy, <laughs> bak. Boy, Dami yung sinasabi, ha? Lahat pala yan. Kinakain yung pagka-exam week, no? So, yun. Mga yan. Napakalaking factor. And then, of course, is smoking. Sino ba nagsismoke sa inyo? Uh, uh, pahingi nga ng ano dyan, uh, uh, ano to, uh, reaction emoji. 
Ito yung mga nagsasimok dyan. Pahingin ng emoji dyan. Okay. And then, recipe, of course, and high blood pressure. Okay. So, you know what? Eight out leading causes of mortality that started in 2016 are lifestyle-related non-communicable diseases. Brisad. So, cardiovascular diseases, ito yung mga yan. So, kung gusto niyo piliin yan, cancer. These are the five top cancer in the Philippines. Cancer of the trachea, bronchus, and lungs. Breast cancer, colon cancer, leukemia, and prostate cancer. Okay. Sa mga family nyo, paki ano naman pa ang uh, thumbs up may mga uh, kids. Ah, sorry. History of cancer in the family. Pakireact ng thumbs up. Tignan ko lang. I just want to see. 